Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Cups. So this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is a mutual love and um, this is a soulmate energy. You may be connecting with someone who really matches you very well. And um, this person, you guys are very compatible. This is a very compatible partnership here. Yeah? I am seeing a meeting of hearts here and a, just a very genuine connection. Um, you and this person may have an intuitive understanding between each other, mutual love, and the ability to really just relate to each other on another realm. Um, there is a lot of emotional connection. This is you guys connecting on that soul level here with this two of cups. So there is a lot of compatibility. This is a divine pair partnership. So I am seeing you finally meeting your match. Someone who, you know, there is mutual love and reciprocation, you know, they are, they move at the same pace as you. There is that very compatible energy here with this two of cups. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Aries. Okay, so the first card we have here is the Hermit. This is Virgo energy. Next, we have the Seven of Wands, Fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy. And finally, we have the Three of Swords, Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Okay, so there is some sort of pain in the situation. You're dealing with someone who, you know, this is a very intense connection. And as a result, I do see some um, power struggles as well. So you and this person, things may start out very well. Um, I am seeing a major honeymoon phase where things in the beginning seem very compatible and you guys agree on a lot of things, see eye to eye on a lot of things, but there is this power struggle energy coming into play with the seven of wands. Um, there may be someone outside of the connection who is interfering with the connection. With that seven of wands, this is you feeling the need to defend your territory, fighting for your place in this person's life, in this connection, feeling threatened, like there is someone who's posing as a threat to the connection. Again, with that's a, with the Three of Swords as well, this is a third party, some something or someone outside of the connection who is making things difficult for this connection to um, thrive. And um, there is mutual love here. Um, I, I, I don't see that um, this person doesn't love you. There is a lot of love on this person's part. And um, this is a soulmate connection. This is a very intense connection. And that's why there can be a lot of pain when it comes to that um, Three of Swords energy. This is a very painful and devastating energy here. And I do see you fighting. You're fighting. You're not letting this go without a fight. And fighting for this connection, fighting for your place, you know, letting it be known who you are and where you stand here. This is your person and you recognize them as that. So I do see that there, this outside, this threat, there is some sort of a threat to this connection and you're trying to really um, prevent this from um, really destroying the connection because I do see a lot of care and with so much love there's so much more hurt you know when things in start going south with the connection but there is still that ability to come back with that hermit card that is you know withdrawing from the connection taking time away to really just 
listen to your own inner voice and to go within to self-reflect and to introspect because i see also a lot of conflict between you and this person this is um a power struggle and i do see that this time away from this withdrawing from this connection for a while it's doing you some good you're taking the high road so you may be deciding to be the bigger person in this connection and um you know doing the more mature thing you're maturing a lot from this connection um this is a very wise energy with that hermit card so this person can also feel as if you're um ignoring them you're neglecting them that that's how they feel and as a result, they too are in this Three of Swords energy. This person is in a lot of emotional pain right now. And this is them really still caring and having a lot of love for you. And being afraid of losing you as well. So I see that there is a bit of an off, an imbalance here. and Feeling off balance, a lot of conflict. And there is a threat to the connection. So let's clarify these cards. Yes, at the bottom of the deck we have the moon card in the reverse so this is cancer pisces energy so this this is a card of um something being revealed some secrets being exposed if there's any illusions around this this is you know there may have been a jaded perception when it came to this connection and that's why you had to go within and i see you getting answers from that you being in that hermit energy that is when you know you start to see things for what they really are your your path is being lit here you're, you're starting to understand that the the purpose of this connection and you know what you're dealing with here this is you getting answers you know a lot of things have been kept from you and you may not have known everything about the situation but now i'm starting to see you're starting to see things um clearly so if there was a third party you're it's being revealed to you um that you know all of these things are coming to the light now and um i do see you getting a lot of clarity your intuition is also very powerful at this time it's guiding you here so you may have felt a hunch and now it's almost as if your intuition is being confirmed some sort of re um, revelation truth is coming here so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this okay so we have the ace of swords Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Next, we have the Six of Cups. Water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. And finally, we have the Seven of Pentacles, Earth energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Okay, so that Ace of Swords is again a truth being revealed. You're getting answers, clarity on a situation. Something is being revealed to you, um, what was hidden. Um, someone is actually going to come forward and express their truth. Someone is going to speak up to you and give you some um, some sort of news with that Ace of Swords. So I do see you coming out victorious in the situation. Um, you're, you're, you're showing up as being innocent here. Yeah, there is an innocence, genuine love here. You know, this is again a soulmate energy with the Six of Cups. This person has a lot of love for you. I do see that um, they want to continue to give this love. This person has pure feelings for you, but I do see that there is some sort of a third party energy there as well. So, you know, you may be wondering if this is even worth investing in. With the Seven of um, Pentacles energy, this is you wondering um, if things will ever get better in this situation. You know, if this is this was a waste, you know, thinking that, you know, things are not going to work out, having doubts with that Seven of Pentacles energy. But I do see that ultimately 
we do still have two soulmate cards here and i do see that this person they are a soulmate energy there is just this threat to the connection right now but i do see that you guys can overcome this with this ace of swords this person believes that you guys can overcome this this person is willing to work on this um, but you are showing up with some doubts. There's a lot of emotional pain on both ends here. So whatever you guys are going through, you're both feeling it. You guys are both feeling pained by this situation. And I do see some truth being revealed. And ultimately, um, what is real cannot be threatened. So that's what I'm seeing for you, Aries. I hope you have a really, really good day, Aries. Bye, Aries.